what is going on everyone so i haven't talked about samsung or any androids in a minute now just because of the new iphones and ios but there's been a humongous not even a leak but just a humongous announcement basically from the ceo of samsung mobile and shout out to android headlines for this article i don't know if they were the first ones to find out about this or whatever but pretty much the ceo of samsung mobile stated that the next iteration of galaxy phones which are the galaxy s uh, the Galaxy S10 for that matter. From what they're saying is going to be a complete redesign. It's going to be a very significant change according to this article. And they were he was speaking in like China or something like that. And basically what they were saying was that he was referring to the overall look of the upcoming phone. It wasn't necessarily the inside or whatever. I'm sure the inside is going to get changed too. But he also said that there's going to be an entirely new different color. And some people are speculating that it's going to be a variant of green. So it's going to be some type of green color. And that is going to be super crazy. So basically what I'm saying is, is that I think this phone is going to look somewhat. So this is what we have now. This is the Galaxy S9 on the left side or right side. I don't know where I'm going to put it. And it's the familiar design. You know, we have pretty small bezels pretty much everywhere. It's not completely bezel-less, but there is no notch. So at least there's that. But what I'm assuming for the next iteration of Galaxy phones, I think it's going to look something like the OnePlus 6 or something like an iPhone 10 for that matter. I think it's going to have a notch. But I think they're going to take more of like the essential phone route and I think they're just going to make a little slit for the front camera. That is one area where I think they might do. I think they're going to keep the front camera and, and everything on the front obviously. And they're going to make a notch for it and then they're going to basically cut everything else off. And it's going to be bezel-less. That is one way. But another possible thing I think they're going to do is make the bezels even smaller than what they are and totally reduce the bottom bezel. So make it completely bezel-less on the bottom. And then up top, still make it have a little bit of bezel, but the front camera and everything, it's still not going to look perfect, but it's going to look somewhat better. I really think that if they go around this approach, it might make some people mad just because of like how disproportionate it is. But another thing I could possibly see them doing and hopefully see them doing is even keeping the front bezels and everything, but just adding front facing speakers. I think that'll be super awesome. If they could lower the bezels a little bit, that'd be even better. But if they added front facing speakers, I think that would just make this phone that much better and such a humongous step up for Samsung for them to do that. Because I don't know about you guys, I would be willing to keep the bezels on the front of any phone if it meant that we can have front facing speakers. And I know Samsung and all these other iPhones and everything have these type of designs where they have one speaker on the front with the earpiece and then one bottom facing speaker. But I think Samsung, if anybody could pull it off, I think Samsung would do it. I mean, we've seen it before with something like a Nexus 6. That thing had pretty much no bezel on the front, but they still kept the front facing speakers. So I think Samsung might do something like that. But I mean, nonetheless, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm not really hugely in into Samsung. I'm not really involved that much, but I am going to start. And if the Samsung Galaxy S10 really does change anything up, man, that's just a huge welcome upgrade in my opinion. And that's pretty much it. Just a super quick update. I'm not too sure what's going to happen 100%, but we can only assume that that's what they're going to do. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Guys, every single subscriber we get really does count, so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My second channel, Low File Packet, go subscribe to that right now. Links to that are in the description. Also, links to my Twitter and Instagram are down there too. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.